Growing up as children, I'm sure we were told by our parents that we always had to eat our vegetables. Now we're adults, we can make up our own minds over what we can and can't eat, so veg is no more of a personal choice. What's that got to do with video games, you ask? Well, Vegetables is a new release for the Commodore 64 by Mike Richmond. A tenuous link, admittedly, but Vegetables is a brand new Match 3 game release for the IGCD 16K cartridge competition. It's a genre that we don't see too often on the C64, so while the market is flooded with them for the PC and mobile platforms, it's still quite refreshing to see one released for the C64. Even more so in this case, as it's been released completely free of charge. Gameplay is simplicity itself. The screen is split into a grid 8x8 in size, each space taken up with a random image of a vegetable, as the game's title sort of implies. By using the joystick to move the cursor around the grid, you can flip any two of these around until a row of three or more identical vegetables is made vertically or horizontally. These are then removed and points are scored. Match four and the entire row or column is removed. Vegetables that are removed are replaced with more and ones above drop down to fill the gaps in. Solid metal blocks appear during the game that can't be moved manually, and these can only be removed from the game when entire rows or columns are destroyed, or when they are matched with other blocks in the same way as the vegetables. The game continues until you can't match any more veg. Initially you are led to shuffle the play area, but you can only start with one of these shuffles. More can be earned during play if you manage to match five vegetables in a row, but once these shuffles are all used up, then it's game over. Apart from the title music, which also plays at the end of the game, there's very little sound to speak of, just sparse sound effects. This doesn't detract from the game, and it's understandable considering the limitations imposed being part of the 16k competition. The same can be said for the visuals. The overall look and presentation is quite simplistic, but it's effective and each different type of vegetable is clearly defined and easy to make out, so there's no confusion when trying to match them up. Clearly a lot of thought has gone into the graphics to make everything look distinctive. Despite the basic concept, the gameplay is fun and addictive. It's a slow, relaxed game and makes a welcome break for some of the faster paced puzzle games out there. This is actually a relief, because unfortunately the controls do feel sluggish at times. If the game was played against a time limit, I have to admit that it would make the game quite frustrating. As it is, it's just irritating and the game is strong enough to shine through the sluggish controls. Overall, this is a great game. A few tweaks to the control system could have made it really superb though, but that's the only flaw with what is an addictive and challenging puzzler. It's one that's well worth checking out. The game is available as a download for use of the C64 with a suitable file reader, to use with emulators, or on the C64 Mini, which was used for capturing the footage for this review. The download is free, with the option to send the author a donation from itch.io, and the link will be in the description. I'll be back with another game review really soon. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.